Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1970 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup is between the New York Yankees and the Seattle Pilots at Brainiac Stadium. On the mound for the Yankees today is George Medich, whose record is 0-3 with a 1636 ERA. And pitching for the Pilots is Camilo Pascual, whose record is 1-1 with a 415 ERA. Okay, we had a passed ball walk-off yesterday uh, to win 2-1. to one. It was probably one of the best, most normal baseball games we played all year, right up into that passed ball. I mean, I think we were going to win it anyway. We had first and third with no outs, and um, we had Rich Rollins at the plate, who was one of our best hit-and-run guys. And I feel fairly certain that we would have somehow found a way to scratch another run um, but the pass ball happened, and, you know, we take a victory at this point. Anyway, we can get one. We're three games over 500 as we finish up the month of May today. Um, I think after that 9 and 18 uh, month of April, uh, it certainly was nice to uh, at least finish over 500 uh, in this month, and it gives me a little bit of hope for the month of June. So we're going to play the last game of the month right now, and then after... Uh, this ball game in a separate video, uh, we will uh, have the end of the month standings and league leaders video. Uh, and in addition to that, we will take a look at the amateur draft, which will take place on June 9th. So uh, less than two weeks away, uh, we will uh, have the draft and we'll take a look and see who's out there. And we'll try to predict uh, who will still be available uh, when we get to our pick. Um, which will be at the end of the first round. So uh, let's go ahead and get today's game started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like and or subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit that like button for me. I appreciate that. Um, if you're not a subscriber, uh, we will be having a contest, uh, a giveaway actually, uh, coming up very soon. It'll be for the second quarter of the season. Um, so if you want to get in on that, you have to be a subscriber. And there'll be more details uh, for that giveaway coming up very soon. So we've got Camilo Pasquale on the mound. He's coming off one of his best starts of the season. Uh, the current Yankee lineup is batting 288 against him. So, I'm uh, sorry, 266 against him. So we've had some success. Um, and all the bullpen is available today. Here's our lineup versus Doc Medich. Um, oh, you know what? I was going to take uh, Tommy Agee out of this ball game. No, wait. Who was it that was tired? Yeah, it was Tommy Agee. I'm sorry. So I did, I'm sorry. I did not prep this properly. So let's get Mike Hegan in there in the left. And Joey Pep will play center field today. Um, let's get this set up like this okay there we go there's our uh, lineup for today's ball game let's go ahead and do the official lineup rundown for the New York Yankees batting leadoff playing third base is Jerry Kenny batting second in left field is Roy White batting third and catching is Thurman Munson Batting cleanup, playing first base is Tony Soleda. Batting fifth in right field is Bobby Mercer. Batting sixth in center field is Ross Mochito, <laughs> probably. Batting seventh, playing shortstop is Frank Baker. And batting eighth is the second baseman, Horace Clark, with Doc Medich in the number nine spot. Okay, Camilo Pasquale. Uh, let's take a look at him. Okay, look, he's making his fifth start for us. He's 1-0 and with that 464 ERA, 15 walks, and 10 strikeouts. That is a bummer. Uh, opponents are only, only batting 230 against him. That's pretty good. His fastball topping out at 89 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 46.7%. He's got a curveball. That is his best pitch, rated in 80. Overall rated in 74 the 36-year-old right-hander is a free agent at the end of next year. 
So we've got him for one more season. And you'll see here, there's his uh, last start versus the first place Oakland Athletics. He went seven innings, giving up one run on three hits. He walked five, struck out three. That was good enough for his first win of the year. So something to build off, perhaps. Let's take a look at the defense for the Pilots. Now, we do, you know, we don't have a good fourth outfielder. We have good four outfielders. We just don't have a good fourth outfielder that could play defensively at any position. So Joey Pep will play center field, and that is a liability. Also right field is Bill Robb, and behind the plate today is Manny Sandian. Okay, Jerry Kenny, batting 303 with three home runs. He leads off against Camilo Pesquale. First time facing each other, apparently, and Kenny gets a base hit to right. I think we're gonna find a lot of singles dropping in um, on the right side of the outfield. Kenny on first, is he gonna be going? Full count. And Roy White walks. First and second, nobody out for the catcher Thurman Munson. I misspoke yesterday, calling this card his rookie card. It's not, it's a second year card. His rookie card is a uh, co-rookie card from this season, from 1970. That's the 71, of course. There's a ground ball to third from Munson, and an error. So this game is already over, we know that now. Um, so we're just simply playing it out, which we will do. There's a base hit, this is all going to be unearned. Whatever. Ground ball, or is that a line drive? It's a line out, we got number one. Masuoshito, I think is probably, I have no idea who he is, but you can see he was at one time a Yankee farmhand. And the line drive is up. So it's 2 nothing. that's all you need to know about today's ball game. We'll take a look at our lineup today. Batting leadoff playing shortstop is Jerry Devannon. Batting second at second base is Van Kelly. Batting third at first base is Darren Johnson. Batting cleanup in right field is Bill Robinson. Batting fifth in center field is Joe Pepitone. Batting sixth at third base is Rich Rollins. Batting seventh in left field is Mike Keegan. Batting eighth in catching is Manny Seguin. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Pasqual. George Doc Medic, a real life doctor. He is on the mound, making his third start at age 21. This is his 1974 card, so that means he did not play until 1973. And he was uh, finished third in Rookie of the Year that year in real life behind Al Bumbry and Steve Busby. So he had a pretty good rookie season in real life. He's making his third start, not looking so hot this year. 0-3 with a 1636 ERA. You know he's going to get right against us today. It's already happened, really. Uh, eight walks, four strikeouts. That's in the Pasquale uh, level of quality pitching. Uh, oh, his fastball tops out at 86 miles an hour. He's nothing but a junk ball pitcher. He's got a sinker, slider, changeup. The sinker topping out, I'm sorry, rated 86 is what I should say. Overall rated 84, the 21-year right-hander uh, is arbitration eligible after the 72 season. There's his log if you got to see it. Against Baltimore back on May 6th. Uh, he went one inning, giving up six runs on five hits. And that was his third consecutive loss. So they must have put him in the he must have been in the fifth spot in rotation to only get three starts and not pitch since the sixth. Tough to say. There's the defense. It's great everywhere. This is a very good defensive team today. Of course, they got Roy White in left field. They have great defenders. I don't really know much about this guy, though. He has an 83 arm in center field, good range. Apparently not a good fielder. And um, I got, he got into 96 games in 1965 with only 27 at-bats. He did hit a home run, his only career home run. That's interesting. Okay. Here we go, Jerry Devannon in a game that is already done. 
Savannah goes to right, but will be caught at the wall. For out with a one. And Kelly strikes out. Darren Johnson. Hey, Darren Johnson stays hot with a base hit in the left. And Bill Robb. Pulls into left field. Second hit of the inning. First and second, two down. Joey Pep flies out. Yeah, we will. We may not score a run today. I can almost guarantee it. Top of the second. Horace Clark popping it up. The pitcher, Doc Medic. Skies it on the infield for out number two. And Jerry Kenny back to the top of the lineup. He's going to gap it. That's a double. Seventh double of the year for Jerry Kenny. Roy White, switch hitter. Got him 275. Drives in the third run with his own double. His sixth of the year. Thurman Munson. He's hit, 40 nothing. Tony Soleda popping it up. And he's out number three. Ritz Rollins. Ground ball to first. Mike Keegan. Well, it's the third base hit to left field. Why? I, I don't make it makes no sense, right? I mean, you have a very good defensive third baseman, a top notch shortstop defensively. Uh, why does the game have all three hits going there? And the double play down the inning. Top of the third. Mercer popping up. Ross Moshido. Is that a hit? Great. Line drive to third. And Ho Clark. Flying up there. Bottom of third inning. Pitcher. Jerry Vannon. He's hit the center. No doubles. Dan Kelly. Another hit to left field. The Vannon goes to third on that. Makes no sense. Can we get a sack fly out of it? Well, base hit the center field. We did get on the board at least. <clears throat> I would have thought, as I already said, that um, it would likely be a shutout to get Doc Medich's ERA down. Of course, he's going to strike them out. Or, you know, maybe some runs might score on a... Uh, error or something so that we still get runs but they're unearned okay good job by Pepitone driving in a run it's four to two Rollins with a comeback top of the fourth it's four to two I mean Pasquale can't even strike out the opposing pitcher Rollins is second error Ball to short. Kenny goes to third. Makes no sense. Except for unless that was going to happen. And a run. Great job, game. Five to two. Mike Keegan flying out to deep center field. Right center. Third error of the game. Top of the fifth. It would be nice to get um, Pasquale through five. Yeah. I mean, when Ma Ross Moshido is getting his second career home run against you, you know the game was over before they even started.
And then the pitcher gets a double. Of course he gets a double. Why would he not get a double? Oh, and an error. Awesome. Great job, game. Great job, game. And then finally gets a strikeout. That'll do it for Pasquale. Okay, so we're taking out Pasquale. He gave up four runs only earned, so like it didn't hurt him as much as it would have otherwise, thanks to the three errors. Dick Bainey coming in. This is a much better offense than what the uh, Yankees trotted out there yesterday. Um, but then you have Ross Moshito hitting a home run, so what the hell do I know? Okay, bottom of the sixth inning. The question is, will they give us another junk run? I can't remember last time a player in our team hit a home run. It's like we front-loaded all of our team home runs in the first month and a half, you know? And now it's like they won't even bother to give us another one. Well, we'll bring in Fred Sadding. He gave up a shit ton of runs last time he came in. And we managed to keep Ross Moshito in the park. Yeah, no chance of getting a 1-2-3 in this scenario. And there's the second double for the pitcher today. Great job, game. Yeah, when this game goes off the rails, it is by far the worst sim, sim on the market. Like they, they couldn't even allow us to enjoy yesterday's victory. There's the fifth frickin' error. That's the third strikeout of Johnson today. Doc Medich is going to get a complete game. Yeah, when, when Rollins made that error on the potential double play in the first inning, that's when it was over. There was no chance. Only question is, will they give us a jump run? Medich is now officially tired. Ninth inning. <laughs> no chance at a one, two, three inning. Just never going to happen. Hal Renef, they're bringing in the garbage. Clean this game up. You know what, let's give Clay Dalrymple a pinch hit. Infield single for the catcher with a 64 speed. Makes total sense. Great job, game. Okay, we lose 7 to 2 in a game that was over before it ever started. We did finish the month um, ahead. Since we are doing a separate video, with the um, league leaders and standings, we'll skip the standings. We'll take a look at the headlines. Hirschberger bashes two home runs. New York wins 7-2. Transactions. 
Um, we already saw all that. Okay, let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and or subscribe to the channel. As we pull it up here. Player of the game. Really shouldn't be anybody. I don't even remember a single thing happening in this game. We had no extra base hits once again. We had three errors, though, including an outfielder. Um, that led to three unearned runs. Yeah, there's no player of the game. Doc Medich gets his first win because he had to. Um, that was predetermined. Ross Moshito hits his second career home run. The pitcher gets two doubles. That's what today was all about. Okay, we will come back later today and do something infinitely more fun, which is to take a look at the um, amateur draft. That will be a good time. Uh, until then, everyone, have a great day.